start by cutting the avocados in half and removing the seeds. Now it's time to remove the skin from the avocado. Using a soup spoon, slowly work your way around the inside of the skin, rocking it back and forth. This should free up the meat of the avocado quite easily. Now rinse off any loose debris from the avocado in cold water. Now it's time to think about cheese. I'm gonna cut a few chunks of this habanero jack cheese for the inside of the avocados. I think six chunks should do it. Now it's assembly time. Start by taking one half of your avocado and putting a chunk of cheese in it. In the other half, put your favorite shredded cheese in there. Then simply screw the two together firmly, trying to make somewhat of a seal. Next is sausage time. Here we're gonna use a half pound of ground Italian breakfast sausage for each avocado. Back to assembly time. Start by getting a piece of wax paper thoroughly damp. Then take your sausage and spread it out as thin as possible. Remember, you're working with a half pound of sausage and ultimately you need to cover those large avocados with it. Now put your avocado right in the middle of that sausage and start pulling the ends over the top of it. Now that you have the sausage mostly covering the avocado, start looking for those green spots and pinch them closed. Make this kind of like a football. Bacon time. Take four pieces of bacon and wrap it around that avocado bomb. Try to cover every piece of sausage. Next, sprinkle your favorite rub all over these avocado bombs. I'm using Traeger's Blackened Sasquatchian Rub. After you get the rub on, sprinkle about a quarter of a teaspoon of dark roast coffee directly on top of the avocado bombs. Now it's time to put these babies in your smoker that you have preset right around 350 degrees. Now it's time to make a basting sauce. I used half a stick of butter, quarter cup of apple cider, and about a half a cup of Maker's Mark bourbon. Once your bombs have been on the smoker for about an hour, go ahead and start spreading that basting sauce all over the top of these babies. This is gonna help accelerate the cook time on your bacon. Keep in mind, our temperature gauge is that bacon. Once the bacon's crisp, we're done. And we are done. Look at these babies.
smoked to absolute perfection. Is an avocado a fruit or a vegetable? Ah, hell, it doesn't matter at this point. It's got smoke rings. I'm eating it. 